Hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial on an intro to Anaconda and Jupiter. Here we're just going to provide a really quick intro into what Anaconda Navigator and Jupyter Notebooks are and we'll show you how to download and install them for both Mac and PC. So for starters, what is Anaconda? Well, Anaconda is a distribution software that provides everything a user would need to start Python development. Included in Anaconda are the Python language itself. We'll actually be able to choose between 3.6 and 2.7 at this time. There are a bunch of libraries that we'll need. There are a few editors to choose from, such as Jupyter Notebooks, that's what we'll be using. And there's also going to be a package manager included. As for Jupyter Notebooks themselves, well, a Jupyter Notebook is a simple open source web application that allows users to share documents with text, live code, images and more. We're going to be using this to write our code as it provides an interactive and easy to use interface. The best part about Jupyter Notebooks is that they're pretty easy to build and to run and also to share as well. So now let's move to the crucial step of downloading and installing Anaconda and Jupyter. We'll first show you how to download and install Anaconda for Mac, then we'll get into how to download and install Anaconda for PC. Jupyter actually already comes installed with Anaconda in both the Mac and PC versions, so we'll also show you how to start up a new Jupyter Notebook. So enough of the slides, let's go to how to download and install it. We'll simply search for download Anaconda, and we'll want to select this first link here. This is conda.io. Okay, so what we want to do is download Anaconda here. So we'll click on this link. And this brings us to the Anaconda website. So there's a couple of options to choose from, depending on whether you're using Mac, Windows, or Linux. In this case, I'm going to go through the Mac version first. So let's start with that, as I personally am using a Mac right now. So we'll just simply click on this link. Unless you really want Python 2.7, I would actually recommend that you use Python 3.6 anyway. So we're going to go ahead and download this. By the way, if you are using a PC, then actually feel free to skip to the next section where we'll be showing you the same stuff for a PC. So let's go ahead and download that. And I'm just going to pause the recording until this is done. All right, so it looks like that's finished downloading. We'll simply double click on this and it should bring up an installation wizard. So let's go and bring up the installer. So we'll just go ahead and continue. We'll click continue. Read me, continue. Definitely want to read through that license, so go ahead and click agree. We'll install this, this takes 2.17 gigabytes. You can choose a different location if you want, but I'm kind of fine for um, that. So we can go ahead and install for me only. Go ahead and click install there. And this will just prepare us for the actual installation. So this should take a few minutes. Again, I'm just gonna pause the recording until this is complete. All right, so that just took a few minutes and it's done now. We're not going to bother installing Microsoft Visual Studio Code or anything like that, so let's not worry. We'll just continue and we'll go ahead and close this. We can simply move that installer to the trash. Okay, so now what we'll want to do is just go into our applications and you should see Anaconda Navigator. Otherwise, you can go to Finder and you should see the same thing. If you go to Applications here, you want Anaconda Navigator. So we'll just go ahead and double click on that and we'll bring up a new instance of Anaconda. So this just takes a couple of seconds to initialize. Keep in mind that all of the Jupyter Notebooks themselves are actually run in the browser. So we are going to select this guy here. There's a few options to choose from, but we'll definitely want Jupyter Notebook here. This is version 5.5.0 at this time. So let's go ahead and actually just launch this. What this will do is start a new instance of Terminal. And actually, weirdly enough, we can go to the terminal itself and just start type, uh, just type Jupyter Notebook, and we'll start Notebook that way. But we might as well use Anaconda. It's a nicer piece of software to use anyway. So as you can see here, this actually brings up a list of a bunch of uh, my fi files and directories. So what we're going to do is actually go to the desktop here. This is just my file system on my computer, and we're just going to go into Jupyter Notebooks. Okay. So from here, I can simply select a new notebook. I'm going to go for Python 3. Otherwise, you could do like a text file folder or terminal. What we'll actually want is a Python 3 notebook. This now opens up a new Jupyter notebook in a new tab here. And if we navigate back here, you can see that there is a new notebook. It's IPYNB. This is a Jupyter notebook here. And we haven't given it a name. It's just running right now. So we can go ahead and give this a name if we want up here. 
and then we would just write the code in these little cells. So these cells can contain text or code, whichever we choose. We can choose code, markdown, NB convert, or heading. Typically, we'll just go with markdown for regular text, and we'll just write, or we'll choose a code one for some Python code that we can actually write and run. So let's say, for example, we just wanted to actually just print out a variable. I could create a variable called like int one, and I could set this equal to five, and then I could print int one. Okay, if I go to run the cell, then it simply runs all of the code that's in this particular cell and starts a new one. Okay, so that's roughly how we would download and install Jupyter Notebooks, at least for Mac, and how we're going to end up using them. So the next tutorial is going to be doing basically the same thing for PC. If you are using a Mac, that's totally fine. You can skip the next section and we'll start on the actual core. If you are using a PC, then we'll just be following these same steps in this tutorial coming right up.